We're back in Le Mans. You've been, we're here with the e-tron this year. You've been here with all sorts of prototypes, uh, be it gasoline, diesel, now diesel hybrid. Uh, how significant is it to you to be to be back here in a hybrid? I mean, it's a it's a great challenge. I mean, every race in Le Mans is uh, is the hardest and greatest challenge. And uh, new technology is uh, motivating everyone. And uh, we have sort of new people within the team which is working particularly on this aspect. And for us drivers, it's a different sensation, different feedback, trying to uh, to optimize uh, what we have between our hands. Of course, your hybrid is 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 all-wheel drive. It, it's certain situations when it's when it's yeah. engaged. Audi took a very different philosophy with uh, the hybrid technology than did Toyota, who's here for the first time this year. Um, what's your feeling on on the difference, uh, both in philosophy but also on the track? Yeah, two things I can't answer in that sense. What we have optimized is with the flywheel flywheel technology, and we have the drivetrain at the, at, the, at, the, at the front of the wheels in three point, roughly 3.3 seconds. After 120, we will then boost at the exit of these uh, seven corners and uh, try to, uh, to optimize it uh, from there. What we have seen and the feedback, it has been greatly appreciated from us uh, in the braking zones, coming into corners, particularly into the slow corners, where we feel this resistance on the front axle. It's giving this uh, very outish uh, feeling of a quattro when you are uh, when you are uh, when you are handling and driving the car. So in trail braking, it's a uh, it's quite a good uh, benefit for for that. And when we are boosting coming out of corners, uh, obviously in the wet, it, it can give us uh, uh, some significant advantage. Which corners would you say are, are particularly better set up here at this track for for that that sort of trailing braking? We have seen in the in the in, in the pretest that what you can defer you have sort of uh, slow speed corners. I would say Mulsanne and uh, and Anash and uh, and Dunlop, and then you have a lot of medium speed chicanes. Um, the Ford, uh, there's the chicane on the on the Hunedia, the one and two. You have the S's, which is going into turning of a, of a fast corner like Tertarus and certainly the Porsche corners including Maison Blanc and Karting uh, and in Indianapolis. So these three types of corners it seems like into the slow corners we enjoy most of a um, let's say a feeling certainly in terms of the braking you brake for longer and certainly also you boost from a lower speed so you are able to to feel uh, say both sensations better into slow corners. Can you describe when the system is recapturing energy? Is that, I understand it's even just when you're letting off throttle it will it will begin to recapture, is that true? That's correct. When you are off throttle you can uh, recapture energy in these seven specific uh, uh, places on the circuit which ACO and FIA has given us. Do you find then that, that uh, when, when is most of the energy recaptured? Is it your, as you're right, just approaching a, a turn or is it as you might have a longer run up to say a curve or a turn? Yes, it's, recu it's recuperating actually the longer. So that means in case you're in, in wet, it's easier to recuperate the energy in wet than it is in dry because you will have a longer uh, distance where you are not traveling on full throttle. Do you think that that combined with perhaps the all-wheel drive, even though it's over 120, it, do you think that will give you a much of an advantage over? It's all uh, it's all very limited, but the, as you see, the, there's a lot of focus on it. Rightly so, it's brand new technology, but actually, the regulation only allows us to use it for 3.3 seconds uh, on these seven places around the track. So it's really minimal of a complete lap time of uh, let's say uh, just below three minutes 30. What's your read on Toyota? Did you see them on the track during the uh, test? Yes, uh, certainly. Great respect for them. They have done a, a good job. The car looks uh, looks really good. They have made sure that they got drivers with feedback from another manufacturer who is unfortunately not here. So in that sense, they did uh, did really well. In sector two at the pre-test, they did the, the the fastest time. That's the top speed sector with both the Hunedia and the Mulsanne straight. So for sure, it didn't seem like they had any significant and uh, they didn't have they didn't stay in the pits they were always on track and it seems like they had a, a good test day like us and I'm sure like what we will do is 
of course use the experience from the test day to go even stronger compare coming into the race so will we and I see the race uh, very very open in that sense a lot of respect uh, for them and it will be very important to see how long you can go on uh, one tank of fuel and as you know there's some difference there which you didn't mention but we have 58 liters of fuel available in our car 60 liters in our two sister cars the ultras and 73 liters in the in the gasoline of the of the hybrid of the toyotas One other, uh, we didn't speak about fuel, as you noted, the other thing we haven't spoken about is tires, and that was huge last year in, in deciding uh, the win, being able to go with that synth. Does, do you think that that might give you some advantage running some power through the front wheels, where Toyota chose to go all that power to the rear? I think in general, I think as it's such, such a small time, you shouldn't focus there. You should focus about the weight distribution and optimizing of the setup, what you need. Of course, with a hybrid system, we have more weight on the front axle, which gives us some challenging there. Um, and I think it's very important to see that in the downsizing, what we have seen in the cars over the years from the regulation, the fuel tanks are so small that the stints lengths are not uh, showing as the development has done, especially from Audi over the years. I mean, now we are by far uh, on the right side of 20% more efficient in terms of performance and fuel mileage than we were when I started with Audi. And at the same time, with the, with the tires, uh, we have gone very small uh, engine uh, capacity. Let's say the TDI started with a 12 cylinder, now we are running a very nice, neat little six cylinder with a single turbo. All that is creating less torque and less stress less load on the tires so that's why today is a big question that's uh, efficiency but you have to combine it very much with speed and consistency these three is the is the word to uh, to win Le Mans this year you need the speed you need the consistency you need the efficiency of staying out on the racetrack and not having to visit the pit too often I'll hit you with the last question you mentioned dynamics this car may look a lot like last year's car, but as I understand it, it's completely different to drive. Uh, can you walk through that, how this is different from last year's car? I would say it's not completely different to drive. Of course, the, there's a difference between the hybrid and the ultras, as we, as we said. Um, but 95% of the car, maybe even more, is new, but it's in detail. Because obviously, the first look at them, it's an Audi R18. But everything is optimized, even the small little like things like this, the fins. The area around the air intake and the air intake in itself into the engine is of course, uh, of course, smaller from the regulation. We got the, the square, what we needed on all of the four wheels from regulation as well. But everything, all the rest, is also optimized and new uh, for this year. But in driving, it just feels better. I mean, every, any car I jump in in an Audi with a certain time in between, it always gets a little bit better. You can push a little bit more on the limits, and the way it felt in the test day, it's certainly the best cornering Audi that um, that I ever drove here. And that's the same for both the Ultra and for uh, the e-tron Quattro.